Hey folks, I am back from IMAX America 2019 and here to share with you all the things fabulous about IMAX. So stick around and we're going to go through the show together. from conferencesource.net and I spent last week in Vegas for the IMAX America show. Glad to be home as is um, Farley who's sleeping behind me. Uh, but it was such an incredible show. I wish it was actually a day longer. It was such a great experience. So I want to share with you some of the amazing things that I experienced at IMAX last week. First off, as most of you know, IMAX America is one of the world's largest trade shows for the meetings and events industry. We are there to make business happen. Event planners and meeting planners are there to meet with hotels, destination, and other service providers. And this is done through a one-on-one -on -one appointment scheduling system. It's what makes IMAX work. They're qualified appointments. You're meeting with the partners you wanna meet with and business actually gets done. And I think that's one of the biggest differentiators when you look at IMAX America and some other shows that might be in the marketplace. So this is what I love about IMAX America is I go in there with a focus and I get business done. And if you want to, to start with, I should say I was a hosted buyer. Now, most meeting planners are hosted buyers, which means there is a parent group hosting us and paying for our airfare into the region, our hotel night stays, uh, and of course, some of the catering with the different events that we attend. I was a hosted buyer of the Marriott Hotels brand, so I had the great opportunity to attend some of their events that were for their hosted buyer groups only, including a magnificent reception at the Chelsea at the Cosmopolitan Hotel in Las Vegas. It was a ton of fun. The Pointer Sisters were there. Taylor Dane was there. Thelma Houston. Just an incredible event with really good food, really great people, and just a really great way to kick off IMAX. There were also other opportunities to visit with other partners, and I did visit Pacific World DMC for a breakfast, and boy am I glad I did. They are sure upping their game in the DMC world by creating this sustainability initiative called Bring Change With Me. I did one of my videos from IMAX about Bring Change With Me, and you can also find that in the description for this video. Uh, it was a fantastic breakfast, and I'm really excited about the things that Pacific World is doing with their clients. Okay, so then you get to the show, and the first thing you're going to do is probably go into the Hosted Buyer Lounge, where you can grab a cup of coffee or a cup of tea, maybe a little snack, kind of get yourself set for the day with some free Wi-Fi, and then head out to the Trade Shore floor. Uh, love the Hosted Buyer Lounge. It's a great way to just kind of decompress and go over the notes that you've taken. They had some artists in the room sponsored by Song Division. Um, this guy was incredible. He just made my day. He was so talented and the music just kind of set the tone for when I was going back out on the floor. So thank you to Song Division for providing some entertainment in the Hosted Buyer Lounge. On the trade show floor. Woo! So much to see. Okay, so you've got your hotels and your destinations and all your partners, and they're literally row upon row upon row upon row. You've always got your map with you. You better be good at grade two math or you're never going to get from A1 to E3000. It's a massive floor. Uh, so you plan accordingly and you're walking the floor back and forth all day long, but then there's all these other things that you can do. They had the discovery zone and all these different activations that you could do in the discovery zone. My favorite activation, of course, was the brand and business activation, which was hosted by my good friend, Dahlia. And she helped me optimize my LinkedIn profile. She also took a quick look at my website and she can do this for anybody. She doesn't have to do it at IMAX. She, she does this for a living. So if you're not familiar with Dahlia and her agency, Dahlia Plus, I highly encourage you check her out. Uh, but she was at the show, which was great. I got to catch up with her and of course, leverage off, off of her knowledge. Thank you, Dahlia. There were also a number of seminars and education sessions. I'm not going to lie, I couldn't attend any of them. I had a busy schedule, 
but there were so many I could have attended. And IMAX did a really good job in their show planner in identifying the education by uh, stream. So they had a general education stream, they had a trends and research stream, sustainability stream, I would have gone to those. Marketing and social media, another one I would have gone to. So it was easy to find education sessions that you wanted to attend and, and, and you could go to them when you had holes in your schedule. That's the problem, is finding enough time to do it, which is why I could have stuck around for another day. There were other great activations kind of scattered throughout the trade show floor. There was this connector activation, which was really tactile in nature, which I really enjoyed. Uh, there were things on the floor kind of planted throughout the trade show floor, almost like questions you should ask yourself as you're walking around. And anyways, they really got you thinking and I really enjoyed that activation. And of course, my favorite activation was Sustainability Village, where they talked about all of the sustainability initiatives that IMEX was doing and things that we can do as individuals, as meeting planners, as meeting delegates to keep our meetings as green as possible. Trade shows and conferences consume so much crap. And so these are just little things that we can do to cut down on our consumption of crap and keep our meetings as sustainable as possible. So loved Sustainability Village. I really hope that it's back next year. IMEX also had donation bins set up all over the floor so you could um, not only recycle some of the things that you may have collected and decided that you didn't need after all, but you could donate school supplies. Uh, that, that's such a great activation and a great reminder that we have excess of everything, and so this is one way that IMAX was going to give some of that excess back. There was also the IMAX run on Wednesday, which I usually do, but this year I had a breakfast and just could not map it out where I could get my hair done in time to do both the breakfast and the run. So I'm hoping it was a successful run. I love the IMAX run. It was also hotter than Hades in Vegas uh, last week, so... Kind of thankful I didn't do the run this year, but if you run, and it, you don't have to be a runner runner, it's like 5k. So go out there next year, do the IMAX run, Such a, it's such a great time. And finally, and I do mean finally, because it took me three days to get around to experiencing the wellness lounge. So Lee Papa was there with mindfulness training and she was doing a number of meditation classes throughout the week, I finally got an opportunity to do a 15 minute meditation with her on Thursday afternoon, literally as I'm heading to the airport. And it was such an incredible way to wind up IMAX for me. It really centered me, uh, it, it focused me on now what was the task ahead and that was you know, battling the airport to get back home. She, she was great. Um, I really, really enjoyed it, Lee, and I'm really hopeful that you come back to IMAX next year. So that is my recap of IMAX America. It is such a fun week, such a busy week, such a productive week. And it really is about getting business done in our industry and I wouldn't miss it for the world. So I hope to see you next year, September 15th to 17th at IMAX America in Las Vegas at their new venue, the Mandalay Bay. We'll see you next year, everyone. Bye for now.